What's up guys? Today Mac released a new version of OS X Mountain Lion. This is 10.8. It's not released yet, but they are um, thinking that it's going to be released sometime in the summer of 2012. And this basically integrates iOS with the Mac operating system. So this is going to be pretty cool. So some of the features that it will include, include messages, which we already have on our iDevices, iOS devices. We're going to be able to message from one Mac to another or say one Mac to an iPod Touch or an iPhone or any iOS device. It's also going to include reminders, so we're going to be able to set reminders straight on our Mac and it's going to remind us when, whenever we need reminded. And um, it's also going to integrate notes, which is a pretty cool and useful tool right there. And it's also going to include the notification center, which I am really interested in seeing what it's going to be like on a Mac. It's also going to integrate Twitter, which we already have on our iOS devices. So we're going to be able to tweet from anywhere on our Mac. We're going to be able to click a button and we're going to be able to tweet. It's going to be pretty cool. And it's also going to include Game Center. So we're going to be able to play games from our Mac and verse people on iPod Touches or verse people on other Macs and etc. And it's also going to include AirPlay mirroring. And I didn't explain much of the details on this, but I'm going to show you guys a commercial that Mac actually just released, and I'm going to show you what they have to say about it. With OS X Lion, we brought some of the fundamental elements of the iPad experience to the Mac. This summer, less than a year later, we're taking that experience even further with OS X Mountain Lion. The next release of the world's most advanced desktop operating system. By bringing some of the most popular features from iPad and iPhone to Mountain Lion, we're making the Mac better than ever. Here's a sneak peek at some of the new features you'll be seeing in Mountain Lion. iMessage has been a huge hit on iPhone and iPad, and Mountain Lion brings it to the Mac with messages. It lets you send free, unlimited messages from your Mac to anyone on an iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, or on another Mac. You can also send and receive contacts, photos, and even HD video. With messages, you can start a conversation on your Mac and pick it up on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Reminders is the best way to do to-dos on your iPhone and iPad. And now it's part of Mountain Lion, too. Reminders make it easy to create any type of list and organize tasks into custom lists. And thanks to iCloud, all your reminders are pushed to all your devices automatically. So no matter where you go, your reminders go with you. The Notes app makes it easy to jot down thoughts on iPhone and iPad. With Mountain Lion, it's just as easy on a Mac. Create a note, add photos, movies, and links. Notes lets you add bullet points, formatted lists, and rich text. You can even tear them out and pin them on your desktop. And since iCloud syncs your notes, all your notes are available on all your devices, automatically. Notification Center makes it easy to keep up with the notifications on your iPad and iPhone. And now with Mountain Lion, the Mac gets a unified Notification Center too. Notification Center gives you an elegant way to keep track of the new stuff that pops up on your Mac. New emails, messages, calendar events, reminders, system updates, and even notifications from third-party apps. New notifications appear in the same place on your desktop. Then go away. If you want to see more, just click on a notification, or use this simple swipe from anywhere on your Mac, and the desktop slides away to reveal Notification Center. iPhone and iPad let you share photos, links, and more with a tap. With Mountain Lion, it's just as easy to share on a Mac, and you can do it without ever leaving an app. Just look for the Share button, found throughout the apps in Mountain Lion. Click it, and you'll see sharing options that are tailored for the app you're using. You can post to sites like Twitter, Vimeo, and Flickr, and share links, photos, videos, and documents using mail, messages, or AirDrop. Game Center expanded the world of social gaming by connecting millions of users on iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. Now, Game Center is coming to the Mac, so you can play head-to-head -head and turn-based games between your Mac and an iOS device. Game Center shows you the games your friends are playing and recommends new games you might like. 
challenge your friends to a game, or connect with Game Center members anywhere around the world. And when you finish playing, you can check out the leaderboards to see how your scores rank and score some bragging rights. AirPlay Mirroring lets you wirelessly share whatever's on the screen of your iPad 2 and iPhone 4S to your HDTV using your Apple TV. Now with Mountain Lion, you can do the same thing from your Mac. Stream presentations, videos, web pages, spreadsheets, and more without ever plugging in a single cable. Thanks to AirPlay Mirroring, it's never been easier to share what's on your Mac, everywhere from the conference room to the living room. So that's a sneak peek at Mountain Lion, the next release of the world's most advanced desktop operating system. By bringing some of the most popular features from iPad and iPhone, we're taking the Mac experience to a whole new level. So what do you guys think about the upcoming OS X Mountain Lion 10.8? The release date is expected to be sometime in summer of 2012. We don't know yet. Would you be willing to buy this with all these extra features they're adding? I say I would be able to buy it if I had a Mac, which I'm probably going to upgrade to this summer. Hopefully by then they'll start to integrate it inside their um, systems they're selling already. The price alone for this hopefully will be between $30 and $50 because that's what the past prices have been for the um, operating systems they've been updating every year. Oh, and also I forgot to mention this, Messages has already been released in beta, so you can go ahead and download it on your system right now if you're running a Mac. So go ahead and do that. I'll leave it down the link in the description description below and I will also leave a link to the website where you can get all the information about the new Mac OS X. Anyways guys subscribe for more remember to like and leave a comment with your um, suggestions or what you think about this new, new operating system update or anything you just want to say. Anyways guys I will see you guys in the next one.